Get ready for some bluesy licks, greasy riffs, and a whole lot of Southern pride. Walk along the river. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Southern rock bands. Live my life. For this list, we'll be ranking the most popular and influential bands from the southern rock genre. In other words, we'll be taking a look at groups who originated in the southern United States and who are often looked to as ambassadors for the style around the world. We'll be omitting the swampy roots rock of Creedence Clearwater Revival, however, as John Fogarty and the boys were actually based out of El Cerrito, California. Number 10, The Black Crows. Baby, baby, why can't you sit still? Hailing from the heart of Georgia, The Black Crows first burst onto the music scene back in 1989 and released their debut Shake Your Moneymaker in the winter of the following year. Fans soon flocked to The Black Crows and their accessible take on Southern rock, which incorporated old school blues and hard rock into a chart topping musical formula. <laughs> Add to this the Black Crows' infectious energy on the live stage, and you have one hard rocking band who wear a love of the South proudly on their sleeve. Number 9, Drive By Truckers. Drive-By Truckers may not be one of the originators of Southern Rock, but they sure have served as a driving force for the genre in the years since first hitting the scene in 1998 with their debut album, Gangsta Billy. There's a sense of melancholy and true Southern style of blues in much of the band's material, the sort of sad honky-tonk vibe which can make even the toughest rockers want to cry lonely tears into their mug of beer. At other times, Drive-By Truckers hit hard with some impressively strong guitar work, passionate vocals, and a progressive songwriting sensibility exemplified by their ambitious 2001 double album, Southern Rock Opera. Number 8, Alabama Shakes. There's my Hard-hitting blues and righteous soul are just two of the immediate markings which make up the musical landscape of Alabama Shakes. This group strikes with power and passion on songs like Hold On and Don't Wanna Fight, both of which which represent Alabama Shakes as a vital and energetic new force for modern Southern rock. Much of this success is thanks to the charismatic presence and impressive musical talents of frontwoman Brittany Howard, who leads Alabama Shakes as one of the most promising bands in years to fly the Southern rock flag. Number 7, Outlaws. Sure, you may be more familiar with Leonard Skinner's Freebird, but have you heard the other famous Southern rock epic? If not, then get ready for the 10 minute majesty which is Green Grass and High Tides by The Outlaws. The group formed in the late 60s and quickly earned a reputation as one of the most musically dexterous bands around, while enjoying a career as one of the most popular contenders for the Southern rock crown. Smooth vocals, driving drums, and lead guitar to die for are just a few of the elements which makes the Outlaws Southern rock legends. Number 6, ZZ Top. Is there any other southern rock band out there with a visual style as defining as that of ZZ Top? The dark sunglasses and long beards of lead vocalist Billy Gibbons and bassist Dusty Hill, matched with the less scruffy rhythm section of Frank Beard, just evokes an immediate mental image inside the listener's head of what ZZ Top is all about. The band have also possessed the musical chops to back up their MTV-friendly image thanks to a diet of classic blues and an arsenal of killer riffs from Gibbons. They're Texas' finest power trio, often imitated but never duplicated. They are ZZ Top.
Number five, the Marshall Tucker Band. I remember long ago when I was just a boy. Smooth, soulful, and contemplative, this is the sound of the Marshall Tucker Band, one of South Carolina's finest exports to the world of Southern rock. The group has seen a revolving door of members over the years since first forming back in 1972, while in the process laying much of the groundwork over what would define Southern rock in their wake. The soothing tone of Jerry Eubanks and his flute are just one of the elements which make the Marshall Tucker Band stand out from their fellow Southern rockers, combined with the group's incorporation of slide guitar and smooth country soul into their sound. The results are a refreshing and sensitive alternative in the often traditional world of old school Southern rock. Number four, the Charlie Daniels Band. I ain't nothing but a simple man. They call me a redneck, a reckon that I am, but this thing's going on with me mad down to the core. There are few Southern rock musicians out there with a resume or pedigree as impressive as that of Charlie Daniels. This North Carolina native has done it all, from performing as a session musician with the likes of Bob Dylan to writing songs for Elvis Presley. Hurts me to see the way. Yet the man's biggest hit surely must be the karaoke classic, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. The Devil Went Down to Georgia, he was looking for a soul steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. The 1970 track makes excellent use of Daniels' evocative speaking voice as he narrates a musical battle between a man and the devil, with the man's soul hanging in the balance. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. The, rising sun. the Charlie Daniels Band wasn't a one-hit wonder, however, as he continued to compose theatrical Southern rock throughout the 80s, 90s, and beyond. Number 3, 38 Special. Southern rock for the 1980s. This phrase does a good job of describing the career arc of the Floridian group known as 38 Special, which was formed back in 1974 by Southern Rock Royalty. So this is love, standing in the pouring rain. Donnie Van Zandt, brother of Leonard Skinner's Ronnie Van Zandt, combined his Southern Rock roots with a smart and memorable accessibility, one which was tailor-made for the arena rock and hair metal scenes that were popular during the time. Special remain a timeless Southern rock act thanks to such enduring radio hits as Hold On Loosely, Second Chance, and Caught Up In You. Number 2, The Allman Brothers Band. Guitars, guitars, and more guitars. Ask any fan of the Allman Brothers Band, and they will likely point to this aspect as the group's most important selling point. Dwayne Allman and Dickie Betts were wizards on the fretboard, trading fiery licks and epic harmonies one minute before cooling it down for some soul-stripping emotional blues work. Allman Brothers Band incorporated everything from jazz, country, and soul into their musical stew, developing a powerful sound which came across even better in the live arena. Sadly, the band would suffer a tragic loss when Dwayne Allman was killed in the 1971 motorcycle accident, but they will always be remembered with an eternal spot in the Southern rock history. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Leonard Skinner. It may not surprise anyone that Florida's Leonard Skinner tops our list of Southern rock greats, but it's also no secret that the group were one of the hardest working and hardest partying bands of their day. 
blazing guitars, ultra-accomplished songwriting, and the anthemic vocals of Ronnie Van Zandt all led to Skinner's domination throughout the 1970s and beyond. <laughs> Tragically, a plane crash would claim the lives of Van Zandt, guitarist Steve Gaines, his sister Cassie, and road manager Dean Kilpatrick in October of 1977. I just want to be left alone. The magic of Leonard Skinner would not be forgotten in the years to follow, and the surviving members and fans continue to celebrate the band's music to this day. So, do you agree with our list? Which southern rock band do you think deserves top honors? For more hard-hitting top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.